Hello, I'm the Atheist Gamer. Today, I'm doing this just for filler purposes. Nothing more, nothing less. So, don't expect much editing. However, Gerbil13 drew this picture of me. And you know that you're making it into the big leagues when someone makes fan art of you. So, thanks, Gerbil. So now, let's just get this over with. So, this week's blog post is brought to you by the letter F. And unfortunately, it's not fun, like my last blog post on Farrah Fawcett. This blog post has been brought to you by feminism, and everyone's always asking me why I need feminism, and why I am a feminist, and honestly, I, I have one, one answer for you, and it's this article that I found in a normal save-on ad. It's a control your woman talking remote, and one of the captions is, Snappy one-liners keep your significant other in line when you fire off verbal commands and funny sound effects. If you need a remote to tell your wife, your sister, your girlfriend, your aunt, whoever you're talking to, a woman in general, to make you a sandwich and to hand over the credit card, there's something wrong there. Once again, feminists have no sense of humor whatsoever. Do you honestly think that anyone is going to buy this remote and think it's going to work? I might buy it just to annoy some feminists, but I don't think a remote is powerful enough to send signals to the brain in order to make these women act like fucking servants. We don't have that technology to do so. Maybe in the future we could, but for now, this is as close as we can get. There's something fundamentally wrong, because... This, honey, pour me a cold one and I'm out of here, implies that you own her. It's a fucking remote, you moron! It is made for a joke! This remote has no impact of an ownership of a woman! None! You don't own a woman. A woman owns herself. You can't buy her. You can't... You just... You can't own her. That's not how it works. You love her. You're there to support her and give her emotional, physical support. And you think a remote that was made for a joke is going to turn a man to an abusive husband. This is like another level of a tinfoil hack conspiracy. You don't push buttons on a stupid remote that says, bring me a beer, bring me a sandwich, let me be, let me out. Let me out? Are you kidding me? When people say feminism is a bunch of angry women who hate men, we don't hate men. If I had a dollar for every time a feminist has said this, I would have enough money to buy myself a limousine. I don't hate men. I personally enjoy men. I mean, they're fine, whatever. Then why are you so unconvincing? Like, you just sounded like you have something to hide. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 uh, men, yeah, they're, they're pretty good, I guess, mm-hmm, yeah, uh, um, yeah, men, men are okay, I mean, yeah, they got penises and all, and, you know, we need them to reproduce and stuff. But for someone to sit there and so horribly push a button on a remote to you, how disrespectful is that? How much you want to bet if this was the other way around, your excuse is, it's just a joke! If you saw another man doing that to your sister, to your wife, to your daughter, to your aunt, to your mother, to your grandmother, to any woman in your life, you would have a sissy fit. Maybe if they were actually serious, yes, but with a remote. For fuck's sakes, do you feminists just hate jokes when men make them? A hissy fit. And you would say, that's not right, that's not fair, but if you turn around and do the same thing, it's so wrong, and it's so sexist, and it comes from this horrible, horrible place of sexism that says women need to be owned. And we are our own people. Where is this place where women are treated as properly? Like, seriously, here in America? What the fucking fuck is fucking wrong with you? Quit acting like a little bitch and just accept the fact that it's just made for a joke and nothing more. Hell, this remote is not just for men to use, but for women as well. It, for crying out loud, it's not some special remote where only men can use it towards women. And we have been our own people for a very long time. 
and it's so just disrespectful so disrespectful and not only is there this remote to control your woman but it's a man cave collection for the ultimate man's domain because everything should be man's domain right because us women shouldn't have our own our own place our own man cave so to speak but feminists like yourself already do it's called a safe space everyone advertises things for man caves and men's things and where do we have our things a kitchen or um, a bedroom. <laughs> it's so sad. Women like yourself are a target audience all the time. Beauty products, plushies, art, just to name a few. You get to decorate your own home and that is your fucking safe space. So sad to me that we are living in an era, 2015, where there is a control your woman talking remote. This, this is why we need feminism. So apparently you need feminism in order to handle the fact that there are joke products in order to make jokes. I mean, seriously, are you really this fucking naive? It's exactly why we need feminism. Because I can't walk down the street and have frozen yogurt with my friends without someone yelling at me. Saying, oh, you're hot. Oh, nice boobs. How dare you compliment me? Please. If that's your one-liner to get me to go out with you, then you are out of luck, pal. Because apparently there's no such thing as being nice. And if you were using this control your woman remote, I just don't even know what to say. You need to educate yourself because it is so sad. And if you think it's a joke, it's not funny. To you, no. To me, I find it fucking hilarious. In fact, I'm gonna buy one just to annoy the likes of yourself. It's like joking about rape or murder. It's not funny. This is what we call gallows humor. We sometimes laugh at dark things. Like, anything can be turned to a joke, including rape. And it's hurtful and awful. But you don't get to speak on behalf of every woman. Boo-hoo! Cry me a fucking river! And I think people really need to educate themselves on feminism and misogyny and... and... sexism in general. Because it is such a problem still, in 2015. Well, there is sexism, alright, but the kind of sexism I talk about is not the one that you want to hear about. We're not living in the ages where women can't vote. We have a voice, we have a face, and we have a name. And we're not here to answer to men. We're here to be our own people, just like everyone else. And this blog post really means something to me because I have been on the bitter end of so many things, of men yelling at me, catcalling me, just horrible, awful things. And how does that make me feel as a woman? Horrible. How does that make me feel as a person? Even worse, because I feel like I'm nothing when that happens. I'm nothing without a man's approval, and that is not true. Oh no, men compliment your looks. You poor, poor, oppressed girl. And I think... I think it's a really important topic, and something that really hits home for me. And a lot of other people too. So many other people. So if you're watching this as a man and thinking to yourself, That's not me. All guys aren't like that. Well, that's part of the problem, because I agree with you, not all guys are like that, but a lot of them are. So let me get this straight. I do not want to be associated as a rapist or an asshole, but you're going to tell me that I'm part of the problem because you know that not all guys are like that, but you still say a lot of guys are like that. Like a shit ton of guys. Fuck you. And it's a real shame, honestly. It's a real shame. Educate yourselves. Read about it. Ask someone how they feel about it. Ask your wife, your daughter, your sister, any woman in your life. Ask them if they've ever been catcalled or feel like they've been sexualized by a man. No need. Most women are okay with being complimented on the streets. It's people like yourself that need to be blasted off to the moon. Or felt like they've been owned by a man because you know what? A lot of women have bad boyfriends, um, bad 
just men in their lives who've just been controlling or or just completely sexist. It's awful. And every woman has experienced it at one point in their lives, and I'm convinced about that. And I really, 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 really think that once you understand that every woman has been subjected to this, you will feel more empathy for just women out there. And that helps so much because once once you start feeling that, you can start educating other people. Well, I already do, but I won't feel any empathy for you because the fact of the matter is that you complain about a joke remote that makes you so goddamn unlikable. I don't care if you went out and died in a ditch somewhere. Go ahead, tell me I'm a fucking monster, but at least I don't try to make an excuse to inflate my own ego to spread to others. And in an era where we're supposed to be equal, you are not. We're so far from equal, it's so sad. And this, this blog is so important. So important. Because it is 2015. And it's time that we have some equality. Not just for everyone else. Too bad the majority of people are going to tell you that your blog post stinks more than a skunk's anus. And they'll tell you to go end your miserable life because let's face the fact. This is what you take an issue with. You make yourself so unapproachable and you can't handle a joke and complain about stuff that you already have. So of course I'm not going to have any sympathy for you. People like yourself are a waste of space and quite frankly the only good you would do right now at this point is you just fade away into nothing because the world doesn't need, some need someone like yourself. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out.